Friday is Tiger's Kit and today me, Romello and the dad are going to Power League. That's right, Power League. And when we get there guys, we're gonna do some training drills. How to play a pool Pogba. So get your boots, let's go. So the aim of this game is to shift the ball left and right before the defender get in there. Guys, it looks super duper easy, but it's also tiring. It is so tiring. By doing this drill, we will help you to shift the ball left and right past the defender. Just imagine if it was in a match. If this were the defender, you could shift the ball and sprint into space, or shift the ball and pass it to a teammate. This drill will also help you touch with both feet. Try to use different parts of your feet when you have the ball. If you're a defender, try and stay nice and tight to the attacker. It is hard guys, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. You should even see the dad do it. He lasts like 10 seconds. If you want to be the best midfielder, then you got to box it in midfield. And to do that, you got to be sick in 1v1 situations. <laughs> now for a bit of fun. Good. The end of the strip is to run through the cones on the left and the right. <laughs> and as you can see, I got a bit of attachment on the bottom. <laughs> And guys, when the defender pulls a bib out your bottom, <laughs> that means you've lost. This is really good for agility and a change of pace. But Mella is too big and fast for me though, but I'm super strong. Now for the same drill for River Ball. Once again guys, you've got to drill for the count on the left or the count on the right. Try and beat the defender to confuse him. If the defender's about to catch you, just change direction and sprint away. This is also good for shooting the ball and change your pace. When you're the defender, try and get nice and tight to the attacker. Good. Hold well on, it's alright. Push, push him through. Go, try through. Good, Melo. Well done. Good try, Melo. Try it. Let's go. If you face a right-footed player, then force him to go to the left. If he's 
your foot in, then the other way round. When you got nice and tight to him, then use your strength so he can feel uncomfortable. The more pressure you put on an attacker, the more likely he's going to make a mistake. You know the dad's getting involved in that? Mello's making a mistake, not getting close enough to the dad. What he should have done, he should have pushed into him with loads of pressure and then he'll feel uncomfortable as well. But he should have had too much respect. He should have let me do it instead. So there you are guys, there's an example of how not to do it. This drill is similar to the last drill. But instead of sprinting left or right, you sprint left or right towards the player. The first touch is really important when you're receiving the ball. And if you can go past the player with your first touch, go and do it. But if you can't, try and fake him. and sprint to the corner. Sometimes the defender might get in the corner, but you've got to be patient guys. Put your body in the way to shield the ball and wait for the right moment. Paul Pogba really loses the ball in midfield. That's because he's a boss in 1v1 situations. the last door guys. Pass that moving in a small space. If you're playing in midfield in a match, then you've got to keep the game ticking over. That means keeping possession on the ball and playing it nicely. Your movement off the ball is very important because if you don't move, you won't get the ball. When you make the pass, make a movement behind the player. That way the defender won't be able to see you. You don't always have to run behind the defender. So you can mix it up a bit. When the defender gets a touch on the ball, the player that lost him must become the defender. When the defender gets the ball, the defender needs to throw the big one on the floor, like a ball. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Can we get that would be crazy and if we get 10,000 likes I'll make sure that we do more tutorials so guys today we learn how to shield the ball create space and shift the ball so in no time you will leave the defender on the backside and before I forget guys the mambo ball video is coming soon so for all you guys that send your videos in don't worry it's coming soon so guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe I'll catch you soon take us kid out